This time we shall create a shadow and light prolet color paint for interior model. I locate interior model of Scania, pick model, untick merge models, and press import. The model is loaded. This is default interior model. It's pretty dark and nearly black in game models. We shall create prolet color paint of the same dark level. I disable the viewport light, so I can see model better. Even more, I disable textures in viewport. And disable any kind of wireframe too. That's the original model prelit colors. You see shadow zones and areas of each recess. And a dark shaded zones on top of shelves. I'll try to achieve the same darkening effect. First of all, I need to hide objects that don't need shading. And any kind of obstacles for lighting. Enable wireframe outline. Hide the glass model using a chalky. Hide decals models too. These could drop shadow improperly. You can tap control key to activate objects under cursor. Then press H to hide. OK. Notice this area. The dashboard has no bottom faces. It will not cast shadows, so the shading below it will be improper. You see the shelf under dashboard is lit. But it should be dark. I create a simple box to close this area. The box is pretty thin. I use rotate, move, and scale tools to place the box where needed. Since I work with a single object, it's preferable to select it, and disable automatic selection. I place the box under dashboard. Move it deeper to make sure it will not produce artifacts. Then I create a box to put into this recess. The box should be slightly aside from the walls. It should hover above bottom faces, and the most important, it should have a gap, next to the back wall. It's not necessary to create it perfectly. Move it deeper to avoid artifacts. and keep the gap in mind. I create a dummy node for shadow boxes and put objects into this group. Create a box for this recess too. It's all the same. Place it, rotate, and scale. A small box will be placed here too.
Okay, recess areas are filled with boxes. I do the same on the top area. Create boxes to put on shelves, and fill both the recess. Everything is ready. Select everything with Shift A hotkey, and hide the wireframe and viewport. Pick surface, self shadows. Hover and click on an object. Note, you will not see highlight, since the wireframe is toggled off. Once shading is complete, set the range to 6. Set shadow color to black. And light color to gray. The model is very dark. Click again to run Self Shadows ProLit. This time I set Strength 40. Range 1.2. It's not over. I run Shading again. Set the strength to 30. Range to 0, dot, 3. It's good. I run the final shading pass. With strength, 20. Range, 0, dot, 1. You see shading around each button. Shadows on the bottom of air vents. And a shadow at the vent control wheel. Hide the shadow boxes group. The boxes created dark shaded areas. The same is on top. Shadow on shelves as needed. I enable the textures in viewport. Spin around. Make sure not significant artifacts are seen. Enable viewport light. The model is dark. It's very unlike an original model. That's it. Thanks for your time.